the HTC Watch app has finally been updated and now it actually works and it displays movies here and you can rent them or buy them and also watch trailers for them. So it shows the top three featured movies there and then there's a number of categories like just added or top ten movies and you can even search through the movies if you want, search by title or you can even look at some TV shows and so far they actually have a pretty decent selection like there's two and a half men right there so the store is actually looking pretty complete and it's looking pretty nice they have the typical movie prices it's like four bucks to rent a movie so a little high on a mobile phone but it also does support mango multitasking there and if we go back to the main menu you can see with Hall Pass there, you can choose Rent or Buy, and it also gives you a synopsis. It doesn't give you any reviews, which would be pretty nice if it did, but it's the way it is. And when you go to Rent or Buy something, you have to create a watch account, and you have to type in all that info. Then, once you're logged in, you click the Rent button again, and it confirms your total and you also have to select your region which it already automatically detects so this possibly might not work outside of the US who knows I don't know yet so it confirms your total and then you can add a payment method so you can add your credit card once you got your credit card entered you just select which card you want to put it on and then click OK and it charges your card and starts to rent the movie once it's done charging, you can click play. And you have 24 hours to actually watch the movie once you start watching it. So you click play, and it starts to stream. So it didn't take that long to start streaming, like 10 seconds or less. And I am on my Wi-Fi connection right now, so I'll test it later with 3G but the video quality is pretty good here and you can also change that a little so I guess you can zoom it out a little more so you actually get the full picture or you could have the sides cut off if you want and the volume right now this is set to maximum and it's just going through my phone speakers so it's about a typical volume for video it could be a little louder, but as long as you use headphones, it's fine. So let's see how resuming works with streaming a video. So we go, we do something else here, and then we go back. Alright. It resumes instantly. It's actually really incredible. Works really well. So that's a great feature there. And I guess you don't even actually have to click the play button, it automatically starts playing. So, amazing resuming. You can respond to a text message and then jump back to the movie. Really great. And now I'll try streaming the movie with Wi-Fi turned off. So here we go, jumping back to it, and it's buffering up. So Wi-Fi connection is actually required to watch these movies. So, that kind of sucks. Nevertheless, the app does do a really good job of streaming, and the quality is really good, and overall, it looks like a great app, and it's really cool to be able to rent these movies. It'd be nice if they let other devices actually use this app, because there's no reason to make it HTC exclusive, really, but nevertheless, it's a really great app for HTC users to download, and the movies are decently expensive at $4, but... That's typical, and that's just the way it is. Some movies are actually cheaper, like The Dark Knight, if they're older, but the new releases seem to be priced at $3.99 for rentals, or you can buy them for $15. You can find HTC Watch in the marketplace for free for HTC devices.